to show you the difference between alkane and alkene. I'm sure all of you will say, oh, it's easy. One have a double carbon bond, the other one doesn't have. Well, for alkane, if I draw out, let's say, ethane, okay? Yes, you are right. One has a double carbon, one doesn't have. This is ethane. How about the ethene here? So I'm going to draw here ethene. From the structure, you can say, but if I say, name me a chemical reaction to differentiate or to distinguish between alkane and alkene, what would you do? Well, remember, alkene and alkane, they all, or I should say, both will react with halogen. But the difference is, alkane require what? They need UV light. While alkene doesn't at all. Alright, so if I add bromine, which is Br2, itself is a reddish brown solution. So the moment I add bromine into both solutions, for example, this is an alkane solution and this is an alkene solution. Now, of course, uh, it's like just two beakers. In real life, they just look like plain, pure, distilled water. If, you, if I didn't tell you, you don't even know that they are actually alkane and alkene because they look exactly just like water. But how do you differentiate that? What is one chemical reaction that you can use to differentiate it? Well, it's none other than Bromine solution. As you can watch, as you have seen from the video that I've shown you just now, if this is alkene, the reddish brown solution go in, they will disappear. Go in, they will disappear. Go in and you'll disappear. So, the reddish brown, it will decolorize bromine solution. However, if this is an alkane, the reddish brown solution remain unchanged unless you allow UV light to come and attack alkane. If not, nothing will change. So, the one chemical reaction is you use Bromine solution, okay, Br2, Bromine solution. I better write it down so that you can see it's Bromine solution. And alkene will decolorize, causing it to change from reddish brown to colorless. But if this is an alkane, it will just remain as reddish brown. Okay, now I'm going to bring you further. I'm going to introduce you one more word, all right? Now, so stay with me. For alkane, because all the bonds are used up, can you see they are all single bond, single bond, single bond, single bond, single bond, not Singapore, ah. single bond. Now, we call this saturated hydrocarbon. Saturated hydrocarbon. Why hydrocarbon? Hydrogen, carbon. Now, for this, because it's a double carbon bond, we call them unsaturated hydrocarbon. Okay? So, one is saturated and one is unsaturated. So, you will also see this in the commonly used in some of your food that you have ate. Okay? Um, one of the most important things, uh, one of the most common things is if you have tried to eat uh, Pringles potato chips before, you look behind. There's this thing called saturated fats and unsaturated fats. And they all come boils down to whether they contain saturated hydrocarbon or unsaturated hydrocarbon. Did you get that? 